um, I'll write some points. The alkenes, add an H2O molecule in presence of and in presence of an acid okay in presence of an acid the water molecule is added according to Markovnikov's rule now what is a Markovnikov rule Markovnikov rule states that when there is an addition reaction in case of alkenes the the hydrogen atom gets attached to the carbon atom which has maximum number of hydrogen atoms attached to it ok so acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes follow Markovnikov's rule in which the hydrogen atom gets attached to the carbon atom which has maximum number of hydrogen atoms attached to it the C atom, the carbon atom. Okay. Right. So, moreover, the reaction is reversible and it is just the reverse, reverse process of alcohol dehydration alright alkenes hydrate to give alcohols alcohols dehydrate to give alkenes just simple as that you add one molecule of hydrogen to alkenes uh, no, sorry add one molecule of water to alkenes to get alcohol and we remove, we dehydrate alcohol to again get alkenes. Alright? Okay. So, let's take up an example first so that you, you get a better idea of what's going on here. Okay. So, let's take the case of 1 propene. Okay. We have this acid with us. What happens? H attacks here. We have a carbocation over here, and the conjugate base is produced. All right. Now we have this. I'm ignoring the H from here. Okay. Now this water molecule attacks. This water molecule attacks in here. What do we get? Alright. Now, the conjugate base of the acid now extracts 1 H plus. So now we get, now we are left with the alcohol and the acid is rejuvenated ok as simple as that now uh, I have one problem for you guys ok so uh, before that I would like to emphasize on one point that as you can see we have a carbocation generated in the process ok so carbocations always have a lifeline called rearrangement 
they can always rearrange themselves to get a more stabilized carbocation so in the question that i am going to give you right now you will have to consider rearrangement okay so keep in mind rearrangement and let's let's do that problem okay so the problem is we have I would again suggest you to pause the video for a while try this question on yourself and then check the answer okay okay now let's do this problem we have this compound which is 33 dimethyl 1 butene all right okay now this ha attacks <coughs> we are left with carbocation like this plus the conjugate base now here comes the tricky part okay we have a 2 degree carbocation with number of hyperconjugable forms as 3 it has 3 alpha hydrogens thereby meaning it has 3 hyper conjugable structures three non bonding resonating structures okay so we have one lifeline okay one two methyl shift what happens is ch3 minus from either of these two uh, or both are equivalent say this ch this ch3 takes the bonded pair of electrons from here jumps to this place attaches to this carbon leaving a carbon leaving a plus charge over here let's do this okay the ch3 group the methyl group from this place takes the bonded pair of electrons with itself goes to this point forms a bond like this this plus and this minus formed a bond over here now this carbon was uh, not uh, this carbon was left with a positive charge over here okay now let's see how many hyperconjugable h this uh, this ion has after a 1 2 methyl shift so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 alpha hydrogens okay i hope you know what uh, what are alpha hydrogens okay alpha hydrogens are the hydrogen atoms that are attached to alpha carbons okay alpha hydrogens are hydrogens attached to alpha carbons now <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> now what is an alpha carbon alpha carbon is that sp3 hybridized carbon that is attached to an sp2 hybridized carbon so here was the sp2 hybridized carbon and i had this sp3 hybridized carbon over here one sp3 hybridized carbon over here and one sp3 hybridized carbon over here so these are my three alpha carbons and the number of alpha hydrogens attached to all these three were Seven. So we have seven alpha hydrogens. So this substrate or this ion is more stable than this because of higher number of alpha hydrogens. All right. So now we have 